From the tender age of nine, Luyadli Skiapers already showed much promise for designing and making dresses. Now, four years later, she has clients lining up. It started so weird, you know. I was always the mommy who did needlework, and because we are so attached to the hip, it's just something she picked up immediately. Everywhere I was, there she was, and she started doing what I was doing. One day I was in town and she stole some material meant for one of my clients. She made pants with matching tops for herself and her babysitter. Her father called me very upset, saying that they were busy playing with my machine. I admit I was angry in that moment, but when I got home and saw what she did, I was so proud. This young go-getter is using a talent to take control of a financial future. A talent that brings a client's visions to life, from creating wedding dresses, cocktail dresses and matric farewell specials. She now wants to create a casual clothing line for her contemporaries. I don't actually make a lot of money because material is very expensive. Lou Yardley, with the help of her family and teachers, hosted a fashion show. Those in attendance could donate funds or resources to help further her dream. It will help me build another place because the space is an issue here. I will use the money to buy new machines and material, then I won't constantly need to go to the shops for it. Her mother has big dreams for her young daughter. My dream is for um, um, a good fish. My dream for her is to one day be a great fashion designer and I would love for her to inspire other young people because she is so young, she can be such a good example for the youth. This is why I encourage her to use models from her own age group. I believe this will keep them focused on achieving their goals in life and not just the common goal of clothes and modeling, but their own personal aspirations. Lou Yardley has also entered a Best Designer competition in Johannesburg. The winner's designs will be featured in a prominent fashion magazine. Kim Daniels, SABC News, in Kariha.